here on Sports Rep Saturday night. We are going on a campus tour of sorts. It is time for those always long awaited spring games and that tour includes wouldn't be complete without a stop in Columbus. Mm -hmm. The national champion Ohio State Buckeyes have returned to the horseshoe for football for the annual spring game. I'm Chris Rawson in Columbus and I'll have all the highlights coming up on the Sports Wrap. To be a football fan, your options included plopping down on the couch, chips in one hand, beverage in the other, and watching 10 hours of draft coverage. Or mm -hmm. you could get off your widening backside and head to the nearest college football stadium for a little spring football. We start with UC's red and black game where Coach Minter even works on riding the officials. The format was offense versus defense, and no one had a better day than running back David Harris, the senior to be rushed for 120 yards and that two-yard touchdown. Quarterback Gino Gadouli did not have a good day. He was 8 for 26, although thanks to some good downfield blocking, that short pass to Derek Ross went for a 16-yard score. Some cheerleaders of the future were impressed. Former elder quarterback Colin Carey is now at UC. That snap sailed over his head, and the loose pig was eventually scooped up by Jermaine Wilson, who took it to the house for an eight-yard score for the D. The defense also got points for forcing punts and changes of possession, and despite this two-yard touchdown run by Derek Eddington, came out on top. The final point total, the defense 36, the offense 26. We've been running the same plays against the defense all spring, and eventually they're going to catch on, and they, they caught on a little bit today, but they played pretty good. Defense played pretty good today. Um, you know, we were doing this point system where, you know, if we held them, uh, you get two points and stuff like that, and we, we held them, I think, you know, seven or eight times, three and out. Meanwhile, in Columbus, the annual spring game garnered a little more attention than usual, and that takes something. Coming off that national championship and with thoughts of a repeat, it's the Scarlet and Gray Saturday at Ohio State, and Chris Ralston has the story. Nearly 60,000 strong, the most ever to see an Ohio State spring game, stood and cheered as the defending national champs entered the horseshoe. Special teams starred in the first half. Late in the second quarter, Buckeye redshirt freshman Santonio Holmes, remember the name, took a punt 79 yards for the game's first touchdown. In the very next play, wide receiver Bam Childress showed off his Jets taking this kickoff 94 yards down the sideline, 13-7, Gray at the half. The first half of this game looked like a good old Big Ten defensive battle with only the special teams finding the end zone. But in the second half, the quarterbacks started warming up and they started finding the end zone. In the second half, the scoreboard keeper could barely keep up. Scott McMullen got it started with a 20-yard touchdown toss to Chris Gamble. Then the young guns stepped up. Redshirt freshman QBs Justin Zwick and Troy Smith put on a show. Zwick threw for four touchdowns, including a 30-yarder to Muller grad Ryan Hamby. We uh, broke the huddle, and I told Zwick, because most of the time tight ends don't get a look on that play, and I said, hey, uh, look my way, because I don't think they can cover me, and uh, he hit me. You know, I just had guys making great plays, and, you know, that's going to make anybody look good when you got those guys out there, you know, bam, catching a five-yard pass and going 40 yards, you know. It's going to make anybody look good. On the other side of the ball, Smith showed off his elusiveness and his arm, rushing for 38 yards and throwing for 234 and two touchdowns. But it wasn't enough as the Scarlet pulled it out 37 to 29. I felt pretty good. I felt real good. There's no joy better than, than having a touchdown. Your, your first touchdown as a Buckeye. From a sunny Ohio stadium, I'm Chris Ralston, Fox 19 Sports. Chris, thanks very much. It can